While you're outside taking the kids around for trick or treating, uh, take a moment to enjoy the night sky, by the way, because one day soon scientists expect a stellar explosion some 3000 light years away to bring a star back from the dead. <laughs> yeah, it's called a zombie star. Yeah. It happens maybe every 80 years and here to tell us more about what it is and more importantly, how we can catch it in the night sky. We have a NASA expert joining us, Nicole Cologne. Good to see you. Good morning. To start by talking about, I mean, bringing a star back from the dead. I assume that's why it's called a zombie star. But uh, what are those? Yeah, you know, hopefully it's not as scary as it sounds. Uh, so every star actually does um, get born and it dies. It goes through its whole life cycle, right? And when it dies, it leaves behind a stellar remnant. And in this case, we're talking about something called a white dwarf star. So it's very compact, very small, um, but it's it's technically a dead star. Hmm. Oh, interesting. And so I know that there's been some anticipation for this to be visible to the unaided eye here on Earth, but we don't exactly know when, right? That's right. Um, we have predictions, you know, it last there was an explosion on this star surface because it's orbiting a living star that kind of feeds into it. But that explosion happened in 1946, so it's been a while. Um, but now we have predictions that this will happen um, maybe in the next few weeks, but it might still be in the next couple years. You know, we make our best guess. Um, but then it'll be visible to the naked eye, which is exciting. Uh, how, okay, so you say that you can see it with the naked eye, not the telescope, but where in the sky would we look? How can, how can people see it? Right, so the best bet is probably to use a Starfinder app. Um, but you can always start with the Big Dipper that's pretty recognizable in the mm -hmm. sky and kind of go to the handle of the Big Dipper and then go over and up. And then from there, you'll um, be able to find Corona Borealis, the constellation itself, where this, you know, quote unquote, new star will appear. Oh, I love I Starfinder I app. I didn't know that existed. Yeah, I, I know it's very <laughs> exciting there for NASA. What do you hope to learn from this? Why are you so excited about this event? Right, we mentioned this hasn't happened, you know, since 1946. So back then we didn't have any technology that we had today. So we'll be able to study this event when there's an explosion at every wavelength of light, gamma ray, X-ray, you name it. And that's the exciting part because when things like this happen, these nova, um, it ejects material back into the universe that will eventually form new stars and planets, and then those will die. So, you know, it helps us study the whole life cycle. I get what you're saying, because when I was, t I think I was 10, but I was definitely a kid when Halley's Comet came around, mm. and I remember they say it's like every 70 some years, and I just, it's always in my mm. mind, like one day I might be able to see this again. Yeah. So when people talk about here, here something comes again. Uh, is the Starfinder app, Nicole, the best place to keep up with the zombie star? Um, yeah, you can always go actually on NASA social media at NASA Universe um, to see, you know, if there's any updates on the zombie star and then use, okay. yeah, um, some any kind of Starfinder app to actually find it when it goes off. All, All right. right. Very cool, Nicole. Thanks so it. much for the insight. Exciting. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Nicole Colon from NASA. Appreciate your time this morning.